Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet my beachy keen shawl. The written pattern is on Nastasia.com. I'm using two skeins of Red Hearts Ombre yarn for my shawl. And have you seen my new hook holder yet? I received this beautiful organizer as a gift from my friends at Shenanigans.com. We'll use a size H hook for this shawl, scissors, and a yarn needle. And be sure to click on the subscribe button to get notified of new videos from me each week. To begin, make a slip knot and chain four. Slip stitch into the first chain. If you need help with the basics of crochet, see my beginner crochet videos on YouTube. Chain four. That counts as one treble crochet. We're going to make six more treble crochet stitches in this ring. We want these stitches a bit loose, so if H is too tight, be sure to go up to an I or J hook. Chain 3. Make one double crochet in each stitch across. Your initial chain will count as one double crochet, so you will need to make six more for a total of seven on this row. For the next row, begin with a chain four. That will count as one treble crochet. Make six treble crochet stitches in the same stitch. Find the middle of the previous shell, make one double crochet stitch in the middle. In this last chain stitch, make seven treble crochet stitches in it. And seven. Chain three. Make one double crochet in each stitch across. Remember that first chain three counts as your first double crochet stitch. Next row. Chain four. We're going to make six treble crochet stitches in that same stitch for a total of seven treble crochet. Find the middle of the next shell. Make one double crochet in it. In that double crochet separating the shells, we'll make seven treble crochet stitches in it to create another shell. And seven. Make one double crochet in the middle of the next shell. And in that very last stitch, make seven treble crochet stitches. This creates another shell. Chain 5. 
chain three. Make one double crochet in each stitch across. Double crochet over all the shells, as well as those double crochet stitches in between the shells. Chain four, and begin your normal shell at the end. Then double crochet in the middle. Do another shell here. Double crochet, shell, double crochet, and another shell at the end. Chain three, and make one double crochet in each stitch across. You'll continue doing this for every row for a total of 20 rows. If you're on social media, you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. If you want to add fringe onto your shawl, I like to cut three strands of yarn, each about 15 inches long, and knot them like this. And here is my finished shawl. To view this video in other languages, click on the closed caption link on YouTube and turn on subtitles. From there, you can choose from over 100 different languages. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to like and comment on this video. Check out the description or the info button of this video for more information. And please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.